Badger. He belongs to my friend Katie. I begin by taping down my paper. I use this image taken by his mama as my source image. Before I started painting, I went ahead and sketched out an outline of Badger. Then I began blocking in the color. This painting, you'll notice that I'll do a lot of layers, mostly because I feel like it gives the painting life. When I'm painting animals or humans, the more I look at the creature, I feel like the more depth and layers that I see. Like if you look at the top of your hand, you'll notice that it's not just flesh color, There's you can see the blue of your veins, and that's kind of the idea behind it. And that was my baby Leo. He was helping me. After seeing this video clip of Badger, I think I know why his name is Badger. At this point when I was painting, I had to remind myself that sometimes less is more. Sometimes I want to add every single detail I see in the picture, but it's funny how just adding smaller lines, you'll find your eye kind of finishes it for you. Okay, Badger has white legs, and this is something it took me a little while to learn, is that you don't need to leave things all the way white when they're white. So you'll notice that I used blue to get his legs. Now for the finer detail, I used a higher concentration of paint, and yeah. Okay, right here you'll notice that I put his back legs a little bit too far up, so I just blended them in with some water, and then I added them a little further back. And really they're just little hints of legs, so your eye does the rest, right? Okay, I went through a battle. I couldn't decide if I wanted to add a background or not because I kind of liked how he looked with just the white paper. But then I had already added like the floor where he was standing and so I just went ahead and did it. I just used some color washes on the back to kind of help me figure out where I want things to be and I didn't want it to be too detailed at first because I wanted, I wanted Badger to stand out. But I tend to get carried away I kept adding more and more detail, you'll notice. If you notice, the first color I laid down kind of had a blue wash to it. It's because it's the atmospheric perspective. As things get further away, they tend to look more blue and closer up they have like a more vibrant color. So in this painting the light source is right behind Badger, like in that little circle of blue behind the trees. So the shadows that are cast are literally just like straight forward. Once I got the background in, I realized I needed to add some more shadows to Badger. So you may not notice, but I'm using a mixture of blue and red to add the shadows in and I find that black sometimes isn't quite as rich as I want it to be and so when I want something to have a really rich shadow I'll use a mixture of red and blue.
okay, here I go, adding all those fine details to the background that I really didn't want to, but I just get carried away. You'll see that one of the last details I add to the back is this little bit of yellow around the window the leaves create. I hope you enjoyed following along with me today. I think it's helpful to learn about the process behind a painting. If you have any more questions about my process, you can leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I post another video.